Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the Great Father and Son Quarrel Arc. It's the chapter where Hanma Baki used an illegal move against his father Hanma Yujiro. What do you think the ogre will do about it? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki Volume Collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts inside a certain hotel. Hanma Yujiro is holding Baki in the face saying. It must have been a while since you have been disciplined. Parent and child. Father and son. Conflicts between those two. Are part of a cycle that keeps being repeated. But the son should not try to exceed the boundaries of the argument. But me being the father, I will show you what is beyond. What came next could not be expressed by words. A halo of light is forming. The joy of passing the limit. This is in the way. Of passing the limit. He must be happy to be blessed. Just below the building, the prime minister commented. Seriously. Those are people. What? What the hell are you doing? A force double suicide? No. That is not it. It is not possible. There is no way that this person would do something like suicide. He is not the type for that. The ogre then said. Baki. Get ready. Soon, we will land. Get ready for landing. Then both of them crashed on top of an expensive car. Could it really happen? To land from a tall building defined as a skyscraper. Is it really possible? To give us a better idea of this, we have a major sergeant of the Airborne Brigade. Mr. Iko. Age 53, who has landed in 53 countries and has descended from high altitudes over 345 times, says the following. It all depends on the height and distance from which you are falling. For example, if you were to try to land on an exact position from a height of about 3,000 meters, it is possible that your movement will be about 1,000 meters downwards per 62 seconds. But if you and I were to do it and fall from a building that is about 150 meters tall and it's above a parking lot and we land on a car that was to be our target. If we had a parachute, then maybe. But if we were to fall from a building by accident and thus unprepared, well, the prime minister then thinks he is still alive. In recent history, there have only been a few cases in which people fell on top of a car. And the amount of people who survived are extremely low. That is what was said. Yujiro then commented. That was rather unexpected to have a luxury car there. You must have good luck to have such a nice cushion to land on. Then the ogre casually throws Baki to the ground. He continued. Well then. We ate food. We drank tea. Let's see if we can spoil ourselves a bit more. Don't tell me you drop dead from something of this degree. How? How could he not? Questioned by the Prime Minister. Baki then replied. I just woke up. But it seems I can't move. Because I just woke up I guess. Then Hanma Yujiro tried to help Baki get up. But all of a sudden, Hanma Baki tightened his grip and he unleashed a devastating slap to the ogre's face. The left-handed handshake to help the collapsed raise to his feet. He wanted to take advantage of this small favor given to him by his father. This strike was an absolute and outright surprise. And therefore, an illegal move. Done by a son who was being helped. Did he regret it? Was he embarrassed? A sense of accomplishment? Did he feel good about it? What was now in his hand? were all the things he had lost with this strike. The son who struck without warning. Felt through his palm an image of what he had just struck. It was this. A boulder. A boulder that weathered the forces of nature for centuries. Its corners have become smooth and its skin has transformed into a sort of glaze. And to top it off, it is covered with a centimeter of thick rubber. And he struck that huge boulder with his bare open palm. All of this information was packed into a single moment. The large amounts of images and its impact, all in one moment. Its content was really serious and desperate. But the strongest being is not hurt one bit. He then said. You little. 
are you out of your mind? Then he countered with an extremely strong slap to Baki's face. Sending him flying inside the building. And instantly knocking him out once more. The spectators then commented. It's a young boy. Call an ambulance. Then a police officer shouted. Secure the area. Please stop right there. Then they tried to block the path of the ogre. However, Hanma Yujiro is just smiling at them. And they all run away from him, as he get closer. Then the ogre goes inside the building, shattering the reinforced glass by just walking over it. He then said. Did you forget who I am, or who you are? To do something as stupid as a sneak attack. Against me. Yujiro. The price for your action will be. Very high. Then the ogre pinched Hanma Baki in the cheek. It could be said that strength is directly related to someone's pinch force. Another word to use for this is the term power pick. You can of course train your pinch force. There are various tools to aid you in training it. The results of doing this will allow for the use of what can only be described as brute force. You can split a crown. You can bend a nail. You can bend a coin. You can tear through a deck of cards. If you achieve that level of strength. The meaning of something as simple as a pinch will completely change. Hanma Yujiro then said. What seems to be the problem? This is what you should expect. There is no way that I could take it easy on you. Or did you really think that I would, you cheeky bastard? Then he threw Baki to the ground by only using his fingers. The ogre then shouted. What the hell do you think you are doing? Then Baki replied. That really hurt, you freaking idiot. Hmm. It looks like it is going to be a long night. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Han Mabaki has any plan to defeat the strongest being alive? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, a Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujabur, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, L. Arshion. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about Hanma Yujiro using the Venda technique. Stay tuned.